Hi guys, today we get to talk about Reprint and Bomb, Gideon, as well as one of the new gods from Amonkhet. So let's start with Reprint. Avon Mind Center is going to get a reprint. It has been bumped up to a rare. This is a $7 uncommon and one of the pricier uncommons that has not seen a reprint in Modern Masters 2017 or even in a Commander product. So it makes a lot of sense. It is being reprinted. Now, what does it do? Two and a white flash flying. If an opponent would search a library, that player searches the top four cards of that library instead. Now, there are a lot of cards that allow you to search libraries, especially in EDH, Demonic Tutor, all the tutors, the various tutors being the best of them, but also fetch lands. So if your opponent fetches for a land, they can only look at the top four and they have to hit a land in that top four of that type. So it makes multicolored decks harder to play with. Still reasonable, but harder to play with. It is a 2-1 flash flying, which is also very good stats. I do expect this to see some standard play, uh, mainly because it has it's a 2-1 flyer with upside. And it has upside of flash as well as the ability to restrict library searches. So at one time, this was a $13 card. Yes, a $13 uncommon as most you know, future site cards sometimes really go up in price because there wasn't that much supply of them. So $13, now it's probably going to be less than $4. I don't see this card going much higher than that, even if it is played a lot. It has fallen out of favor because the tier 1 decks right now are Death Shadow, Adrazi, and they don't necessarily care about searching the library as much, especially Adrazi, which doesn't even play fetch lands. So the next card we're going to talk about is Unwavering Initiate. Two and a white, Vigilance and Bomb. So here we can see the Bomb effect in all its glory. For and a white, exile this card from your graveyard. Create a token that's a copy of it, except it's a white zombie human warrior with no mana cost. And Bomb only as a sorcery. So... Pretty good. I mean, now you can, it's similar to flashback, but it's like flashback for creatures instead of inst instance in sorceries. Flashback was one of my favorite mechanics because you get extra utility. So you play this guy, he's pretty good stats. Two and a white for a free two vigilance is pretty good. He dies, then you get extra utility by bringing him back as a copy of it. You do exile it, so you cannot play it multiple times. But overall, a very good effect in Limited, since a lot of times you just don't do anything in Limited, and it's like a, okay, it's your turn. Okay, it's your turn, and you're just waiting for someone to draw action. This card has built-in action even after it dies. Overall, I like the embalming effect quite a bit. Uh, flashback was a really crazy effect and extremely useful in Limited. Definitely want to see what their top end card is. So this is the probably one of the worst in bomb cards, but the top end should be something very aggressive, something like lingering souls. But for creatures, would be quite incredible in the current meta given what it is. So hopefully it shakes up the meta. I have very high hopes that when we get Amaket, things will be a lot different from how they are today because standard is incredibly boring. Next, we're going to talk about Gideon. Gideon of Trials. That is his name. That is the poster. So your game store will have posters of them. And here's a tip. If your game store is a comic book store, they have, to, they have too many posters. And you can ask them for their old magic posters. And they, are, they either throw them away or they just give them to someone's friend. But you can offer a dollar or two dollars and you can buy all the posters. That's what I have done. And when you even if you go to five and below in a crappy place like that, posters still cost five dollars. So if you offer two dollars or even up to five dollars, you can grab some really great posters. I have the Sahili Raw poster, which is gorgeous, and I also have the Nissa poster. 
and the Gideon one as well, the other Gideon. And they look really good for decoration. Uh, you don't need to frame them. You just kind of put a little tape on it and it's good to go. So Gideon will be called Gideon of Trials. He looks pretty badass here. Obviously the trials are the God trials probably. And Gideon again has to pass all of them to get, you know, to, I suppose, Nicobolus. Very similar to any video game. You gotta beat all the minions and then you can get to the boss. So that makes a lot of sense to me. Uh, Gideon of Trials. The next thing that we're gonna look at and the very last thing for this video is the name of the new goddess, the cat goddess. So we know that there's a dog goddess and a crocodile go god. Here is the cat goddess. Her name is Okatra the True. She's probably in white uh, and she looks amazing. Um, very, very gold, gold and white. So maybe she is, reminds me a lot of Elspeth with like a cat mask. Maybe it's Elspeth in disguise. Anyway, those are the uh, the news for Alma Kent so far. Anyway, bye guys.